<laughs> oh no, oh no, I'm not good at all. Yes, nice shot. Why are they here? Oh my gosh, not good. Oh, no green health. <gasps> enemies, oh, enemies everywhere. Hey guys, this is Jaslyn and welcome back for more God of War. So from the previous episode, we have freed the dragon and now the dragon is no longer here. And Kratos also died many many times, I think. Yeah, countless times because of the enemies. Those enemies are really tough. I'm really glad we have finally made it. I almost gave up. Yeah. Luckily, I didn't give up. Yes. Okay. Oh, a green health. I need this. Okay, time to move. Okay, everything is clear. Oh, okay, that. <laughs> and here's the serpent looking at us. Let's continue with our main story. Can't open this. Okay, here we go. Um. Hey, Mimir. Last we were in a boat. You had just started the story. What did yeah. you want to tell me about the long war? Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won. But the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses. And for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore. But a rather yeah. senseless waste of precious life. Yeah. Wouldn't you agree, brother? <laughs> Precisely. Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy, a certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? Oh. What was in it for her? Mm -hmm. It was a sacrifice to protect her people, a selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got. But of course, there's more to that story. I see. Freya married Odin. Wow. wow. There's two of them, and they're huge. I wonder why they aren't moving. Okay. Can I stop here? I think we haven't tried to explore this place. Uh, yes, here. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, like that. Let's 
stone falls. Ah, chest. Oh, something. Okay. Oopsie. Like not working. There you go. Oh, wait. Ah, shit. Why is this not working? Okay, let me go up. There's a chest. Oh! oh what the hell? This place is so dark. And punch this. Oh, okay. I think I need to shoot this. Ah, too late. Ah, there. Now we can have this. What's that? Something blue. Oh, I think it's the water that we just grabbed. Uh, oh, yeah, these. How? I think something is stuck. I love to explore, so yeah. <laughs> and that's why we are here. can grab this. <gasps> oh! Come and face me, God of Thunder! Who Your are you? Your challenges mean nothing to the God's spirit. They do not listen. Do not mock my pursuit of vengeance. Though my family devoted their lives to worshiping Thor, I've devoted mine to his downfall. And I will start with that statue father's grave. Unlikely. You are dead. Is there something we can do? For a reward, of course. <laughs> if you bring down the statue, you have my blessing to loot my father's grave. He rests on an island to the east. Destroy the statue of Thor. Why do you hate Thor so much? What? When my father passed, my mother built the statue to watch over his grave. Imagine our surprise when the god of thunder himself came to offer condolences. First we were thrilled, but he quickly took advantage of our hospitality. My mother begged him to leave, and Thor, in his drunken rage, killed her. I was left with nothing but grief. Eventually I lost that as well, and found only rage in its place. I... I'm so sorry. Come boy, we have a statue to destroy. 
<laughs> now Kreto is speaking to help the spirit. Just now, this spirit mentioned that Thor has killed his mother. Well, Thor from this game is very different from the Marvel's Thor. <laughs> yeah, really different. Ooh, we have these so many fast travel points. Okay. Ha. There. So now we can grab that. Huh? This oh shit, I hit you. Shit. Two, three, and yes, there you go. <sighs> so many enemies. Does, okay, doesn't have the poisonous bar, but it does have a sack in its throat, uh, throat that lets it buff poison at us. I know it's really close, the poison is deadly to the touch, so even if we dodge the attack, we still need to be careful, uh, careful not to step in it. Okay, oh, let's grab this. Okay. Rare enchantment. Now can we open this? Something to grab there. Okay. Let's close this gate there <sighs> oh something right there okay my father's grave lies on an island to the east do not mistake my mother's statue of Thor with that monstrous eyesore to the south. All right. Uh, okay. Let's open this. And let's go in. A lot of treasures. Rare talisman. Passive. Uh, activate immediately after being hit. 
to uh yeah after being hit to recover faster also has a passive effect that increases the timing window on parries and greatly increases defense in blocking uh. a few moments later okay Nothing here. Ooh. Ah, more of those. Oh yeah. Three more to go. Hex silver. Uh, I want the green one. Yes, these. Okay. Let's go down. Okay, we have came here earlier. How do I go there? Let me try to open that first. Oh shit, wrong one. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, successful X executes granite rich burst. Thick dust. Wow, I have these. That pulses with mysterious forces used to upgrade powerful armor found only at Stone Falls. Okay. Look up there. Okay. Let me go up first. How do I go there? Oh yes! Ah, there we go! <laughs> Hex silver, okay! I see something there So many places for us to explore. Ah, let's go there. That spirit. The one whose mom was killed by Thor. What about him? Would his story be a reminder? The lives of men mean nothing to the gods. I know, Father. You know, but do you listen? Yes. <laughs> Good. Okay, let's stop here. What's this? What? Enemies? Where? Oh shit, these enemies! Ready, 
Yes, baby. Yes, baby. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yes, baby. Die. Oh shit. <laughs> oh no, oh no, I'm not good at all. Yes, nice shot. Bye, bitch. Any health? No health. Dang it. Okay, this again. Okay. Sorry, boy. I think I accidentally knocked him. <laughs> okay. Any green? Greens? I need greens. Oh, no greens. Oh, I can't open this. Uh, oh. Hey, I can't open this back. Okay. What is this? Okay, so now the boat can get across to that side. I think, um, yeah, let's park the boat right there. Ha, huh, and here. Okay. Okay, so now we need to go back to the front. And puzzle time. <laughs> oh, I hate doing this type of... Yeah. Oh, one more. Shit. I'm so slow. Ah, oh, there. Open this. Yeah. To 
today we are like having a treasure hunt. <laughs> Uh, throw the Leviathan X towards any nearby targets, automatically seeking out hitting and inflicting frost damage to any enemies caught in its path. Let's take a look. Wow. Oh, I did not use these. I've forgotten to use that. Um, let's try this. Never used this before. Yep, of course, it's my first time using that. <laughs> oh, another chest. Okay, nothing on top of the ceiling. Oops. Okay, time to move. <laughs> This must be the goal. Let me grab. Okay. Can I? I can't oh. believe Odin and Frey were ever married. Love and hate are more closely intertwined than you might imagine. For instance, Odin hates the giants and they him. But Thor's own mother was the giantess Fjorgun, one of Odin's great loves. Ooh. So Thor's half god and half giant? Weird. Once Fjorgun was gone, lonely ages passed for Odin. And as war with the Vanir raged, I could see what he really wanted. And we'll pick this up later. Okay. Nice interesting story from him. <laughs> Another place to explore. again <laughs> oh it requires this I don't think I can get to open this stand Many to explore. Oh, yeah, now we are here. Yes, yes, now we are in the opposite. Okay. Let's punch. A lot of chests. And let's drop this. Okay, I need that green elf. Oh, what the hell? They are here. 
Ah, nice. Shit. Oh, man. I hate these men. Why are they here? Oh my gosh, not good. Oh, no green health. <gasps> enemies, oh, enemies everywhere. Oh my gosh, I'm stuck. Oh no, oh no. Oh, green health. Oh, thank God. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Help me, help me, help me. I can't see. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh no, oh no. Come on, get up, brother. Uh, almost there. Ay. <sighs> now where are you? Oh no. Oh no. No green stone. I hate fighting with you. Oh my gosh, get away from there. Oh, I hate this. When this is happening, Oh, my God. 
Okay, hi, bitch. Almost there. At the red. I need this. Yes. Ooh. He's almost dying. Get away from there. Ready. Get away. I can't see. Oh shit. Oh no. Yes. Thank you. Oh, I love my boy so much. <laughs> Oh shit, oh shit. Oh no, almost there, man. Oh, is he dying? Is he dead? Yes, oh my gosh. Dark Elf Lord. Bigger, faster, and stronger than any Dark Elf we fought so far. Their attacks are so strong, they can blind and deafen us for a bit. They fight a lot like regular Dark Elves, we just way harder. Yep. I can't believe I actually did it. And we have so much to explore here. Okay. Now my health is not good. I can't open that. I think I need to reach a higher level to open that. Ooh. So let's open this. <sighs> okay, open this too. On this something over there. Let me go grab that first. I'll be right back. Ah, here. Ooh, hexaver. I guess I'll be coming back here again next time because I saw the green op.
where is this? Bring down the smaller tall statue on the island of. Okay, I'm going to this place. Let's go. So you were saying Odin was lonely? That's why he was always at war? Nothing quite so simple. But I hoped that love might temper him and give us a chance for peace. And after no small amount of convincing, they are agreed. For a while there, he really turned on the charm. He seemed happy. He seemed interested in making her happy. He granted her so many wishes, I can scarcely recall them all. The peace held, and I truly believed all had worked out better than I could have planned. But Odin's true face showed itself again in the end. Well, he won Freya's trust, and she taught him some of her Vanir magic, another choice she would live to bitterly regret. Sadly, despite his wise counselor's best efforts to persuade him that peace was the only true path to stave off Ragnarok, Odin never let go of his obsession with Jotunheim. The taste of Vanir magic led him to new forms of experimentation and new levels of depravity. I see. Okay. Right now I am trying to go to this. Bring down the smaller tall statue on the island of Yeah, I wonder where is this place? Okay, it's right here. Well, it's really far. Let's try to go there. Okay, here maybe. I have no idea how to open this. Uh, never mind. Let's just go to the main story. Okay. I just love to explore. And here we go. The Mason's Channel. Ooh, I love this white bird. It's what just, uh, it just go. Yes, right here. Ah, yeah. Oh, a green stone. What? The spirit again? You who walks among the living! My beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace. Yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Who <laughs> say their magic knows no bounds? She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death, if only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. Okay. They've taken three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones, child. Gulvig will reward you. Ooh, we have another side mission. Let's see. Maybe we can talk to mom again. 
The ghost wants us to find these dead lady's bones and bring them back to the rest of her body. She's missing both hands and her head. It's pretty disgusting, but if it works, maybe it will be worth it. Where is the place? Wow, it's scattered everywhere. Here, here, and here. Okay, right now I'm here and it's over here. Okay. What is that? Can I break this? Stars. <gasps> what the hell, all girls? Oh, okay. 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 I hit my thing with you. Oh shit. Oh, I need rage. Yes. Oh yes, baby. For those bones. Why? Didn't you hear him? We could talk to mom again. If we keep an eye out, look while if we... you wish, boy. I will not be distracted by this fool's errand. Well, but I do want to look for the bones to see what is the reward that he's going to give us. Okay. Let's just go back and look for the bones. <laughs> Okay, obviously the marriage to Odin didn't last, but how did Fran end up a hermit in the woods? Oh, that was a singular piece of cruelty, even for Odin. As if the marriage wasn't punishment enough. Wait a minute, let me see... Better to him than he deserved. She stuck it out through all manner of indignity, hey, all in the first. name of maintaining peace and safety for her people. But Odin's madness, his tyranny, his corruption of her magics, it became more than she could stomach, and at long last she broke it off. Odin's wrath was fierce, and his curses upon her were more than she dared to fear. But her magic was so much stronger than his. After so much time together, he knew her vulnerabilities and exploited them to craft curses she could never break. Oh, like not being able to leave Midgard. Worse still, he robbed her of her warrior spirit. Freya cannot fight, even to defend herself. Ooh. 
No living thing may she harm by blade nor spell. In a world this belligerent, what choice does she have but isolation? Poor Freya. I guess if I was her, I'd spit in your face too. I lie. Like. <laughs> so would I. Okay, star is done. <laughs> now the boy does agree to spit on Mimu's face. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Is this the one? The bone? Ah, yeah. These bones pulse with magic. It must be Golvi. Could we... Could we just hold on to it? Maybe we'll find the rest of them. This spirit lies to you, boy. How would you know? I have known many spirits. They are all liars. This <laughs> one is different. I know it. You know very little. <laughs> Trusting the spirit to keep its word is foolish, boy. But... If there's even a chance... Don't you want to see Mom again? Of course I... She is gone, Atreus. You must accept this. I do, but to see her again. Just one more time. Why do you believe him? You do not know him or who he was. All of this is sinister. He wants to see someone he loved again. I... I understand how that feels. I don't think there's anything sinister about it. Hope is blinding your instincts, boy. Well, but I do want to know what is his reward. Uh, where am I? Okay, now we have to go here. I think this is the place. Forgotten caverns. We have so much to explore. Oh uh, yeah, here. Okay, let's explore around. Bothar, Fremont, Eric. I think for today's episode, I'm not going to do the main campaign first because I want to try to do some of these side quests. Okay. <laughs> Are you okay? No, son. My goods are underwater. My men are drowned, and yet their bodies continue to walk the beaches. Hellwalkers. They plague these lands. I was their captain. They died because of me. But these abominations sully their memories. I will find a way to free them from their tortured state. In this, I am determined. Kill the hell Thunderstorm walker. scattered wow. all three of my ships across the lake. I know not what I did to anger Thor. But his judgment was swift and brutal. Alright. Enough conversation. <gasps> What's that? Focus up, boy. Okay. Oh, one more. <laughs> Okay. Boy. What's this? Where well, this wolf's how we should be ready for a strong attack. It's another one of those okay. maps. Ooh. I've been working for okay this word a long time, but the pay is always short. With the camp split between Vendrit and his old man, no one will notice me stashing a bit of the earnings on the side. 
My secret perch is the perfect hiding spot. Ew, I heard noise. But I wonder what is that? Can I go up? I hope the bone is around here. Ooh, something there. Something there. Ah, the bone. Okay. What will you say to her? To Govi? Your mother. <laughs> left unsaid. I no mud. I guess. I, I just want to know if she's okay. She is dead, boy. I know that. I. You don't understand. Neither do you. <laughs> Both of them don't understand. Okay, great. Ah, we have came here before. Ah yes, we have came here last time. Oh yeah, so the noise that I just heard is this serpent's noise. Okay. I discovered opportunities for hunting and trade in these lands. I gave up my search for Jotunheim long ago. Leave that for the younger, more hopeful men. But I was over eager. And my men paid a heavy price. Okay, understood. Okay. One more to go. What would you say to me? Nothing. Nothing? <laughs> there is Seriously? nothing left to say. What about everything we've done so far? That man coming to the house? Talking to the world serpent? We've done so many amazing things. Ooh, I just want wait. to tell her about them. Don't you? What else would you say to her? I tell her that we're both okay. Not to worry about us. Atreus, I... I miss her too. You know this. Aww. I thought I knew very little. <laughs> of course your father miss her too. Otherwise your father wouldn't stuck in the light for so long. <laughs> On the previous episode, Atreus pulled Kratos away from the light. <laughs> I think it's right there. Hey, hey, hey. Wow. It's like there was an entire city under the water. I lad. A forgotten city. What was it called? No, uh, well, I forgot. Am I close? Yes. <gasps> oh, let's grab this. The mirror. There was a shrine about a giant lady with lots of books and, and visions. Ah, that would be Kroa, the knowledge keeper. She was a gifted sorceress who gathered every tome of arcane wisdom she could find in the realms, all in the hopes of augmenting her powers of prophecy that she might find her lost husband, Arvandil. But it was not her husband she would glimpse in her visions. For it was Groa, seeing longer and farther than any before or since, who witnessed Ragnarok, the end and the beginning. When Odin caught word of her ultimate prophecy, he maneuvered to obtain her knowledge and hoard it for himself. Groa knew Odin as a long-time patron of her services, and so she welcomed him into her library as a friend. What she did not know is that Odin himself was behind her husband's disappearance, 
having used his enchantments to conceal his death at Thor's hands from her sight. Smiling, jealous Odin took her by the throat, and with his very hands he stole her library and her life for his own. I always knew Odin was bad, but that's just... Okay, a giant sorceress and a powerful seer slain by Odin. Did he steal her book of visions? Called the Knowledge Keeper, Groa was the first to have a vision of Ragnarok. She trusted Odin as a friend. Bad idea. Useless? Barbaric? Heartless? That's Odin. In fact, we would do well to sit here in silence for the next few moments and reflect on Odin's capacity for cruelty. Okay. Nice story so from me. More story? Okay. <laughs> oh, a new place. And I think I saw an ancient stone. Okay. Dang. I hope I can do this. Look here. Sir. Okay. This thing is not disturbing me. All right. I wish to make a contribution to Fafnir's collection of relics. I arrived to find the door lock and reverse blocking the way I came. I quickly buried my treasure and he as fast as I could. If I managed to escape, I returned to this spot. Okay. Can I open this? Yes. Another piece of the language cipher. Yeah. That's good. Good thing this ancient stone doesn't attack me I think he's the friendly one maybe I'm not sure <gasps> oh is this the one yeah Final okay. Bow. Yeah. We might as well return them to the spirit. Maybe he will keep his word. I know she's not coming back. Okay. <laughs> I know. I just. Never mind. I just gotta okay. return the bones. Okay. <laughs> I can sense Atreus doesn't want to hear that word again from Kratos because it's very hurtful to hear that. I understand that. I'm so surprised that the ancient stone doesn't attack me. I was expecting to have a boss you fight with him. Of stories. Okay. When will you tell one that entertains? <laughs> I beg your pardon. He I just beg your pardon. You. Yeah, I got that. So you want a corker, do you? Very well, my brothers. I'll tell you the story of Runia, the brawler, the real story. There was a huge battle, right? His shrine had him in the middle. Fighting off Ace. Oh, I want to hit that. A pretty story, but. Okay. No. Rungnir, you see, was born with neither head nor heart. So the giants had to complete him with stone. He was strong, to be sure. But also a perfect simpleton. Odin met him wandering in Midgard one day. Found him so amusing, so harmless, so gullible, that he invites him back to his palace in Asgard. There he gives Rungnir his fill of mead and goads him into all manner of boasts and antics, all for the amusement of the court. Once there, I saw the Aesir laugh as Hrunir leapt upon his shield and swore he'd kill us all and take our womenfolk back to Jotunheim. And Thor shows up. And does he laugh? Oh no. <laughs> Thor takes one look at the drunken stone buffoon. Brings down Mjolnir on his head so hard that he's got chunks of Hrunir in his own skull to this day. 
Gorg is so startled by the face full of rock, he doesn't notice the near body topple right onto him with a sickening crunch. And again, the roars of laughter echo through the palace halls. That's an awful story, Mimir. Nothing like the one's mother told me. Let that be a lesson, my son. Truth is seldom so pretty as myth and legend. Okay. A mighty giant made of frost and stone looked like he looks like he had a huge fight with Asia and Vanir gods. He battled he battles Thor and it looks like they both lose. Hung hung near the brawler a head of stone, but the mind of a child. Odin tricks him into getting drunk and rowdy in Asgard. Thor smashes his head but he ends up crushed and everybody laughs. Asia are the worst. Okay. So now we have Okay, this I wonder where is this? Oh it's right here. Should I do that all next time? I feel like doing that next time. I just can't wait to head back to the spirit this yeah right there okay we are so far away <laughs> now here hey spirit i'm back with the with the bones okay We have collected the rest of your woman's corpse spirit. Mm -hmm. Show us this magic you have promised. Ah, oh, my sweet Gulvik, whole again. Rise, dear Gulvik. Awaken, O oh powerful Gulvik! She says she'll honor our request. Eldifagna. And reunite us? In Okay. Oh, right. What the fuck? Okay. We've been tricked. We've been tricked. Oh my gosh. This is sucks. I hate fighting with this. You don't look too good. Oh, gosh. Gosh. Oh, I need this. Let me grab this. Where are you? Oh man. Yes. Oh man. Please come up, man. Oh no. Need more time. No more greed. Shit. Oh shit. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Oh shit. Oh, that was close, man. Oh. Say it. 
I told you so. I told you so. You are naive, foolish boy. This is true <laughs> as well. But do not take your disappointment out on me, boy. Take it as a lesson. Yes, sir. Okay. Yep, my boy is being fooled by a spirit. And his father is right. <laughs> a spirit convinced me that Gulwick, a powerful witch that was killed a long time ago, could re reunite us with mother. Father didn't believe him. I shouldn't have either. But for a chance to see mom again, it seemed like we should give it a try, right? Once we collected all her bones, Gulwick was resurrected and she said she reunited us in death. And then attacked us. We killed her, obviously. I was really upset with myself. How could, how could I fall for such an obvious lie? But father said to take it as a lesson, so that's what I'm gonna do. No more trusting spirits. <laughs> okay, lessons learned. Me too, lessons learned. <laughs> Yeah, because I couldn't wait to gather all the bones around this area and I thought we were going to have a cutscene for that. I fall for the trick as well. That was sucks. And um, I think we have one more side mission to do which is this. Maybe I will do that on the next episode and after we have done that side mission, I will move on to the main mission. Yes, the main mission which is the magic chisel. Okay, so if you guys enjoy for today's episode, don't forget to subscribe for more God of War and don't forget to give me a like and leave your comments down below. Okay, so I hope to see you on the next episode. Bye everyone.